Welcome to the Daily English News program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilad Hatamova. On 22 December, President Ilham Aliyev visited the Sakhse and Tursu Springs in Shah region. The head of our state then visited Nakhchivanli, Pir Jamal, Khanabad and Pirlar villages in Khojala region. <laughs> President Ilham Aliyev visited the Saksu Spring in the Shusha district. Special representative of the president in the Shusha district, Aydin Karimov, informed the head of state of the completed work. Spring is located in the northwestern part of the city of Shusha, approximately 5 kilometers away on the Shusha Lachin Road. The spring's high quality water has long been a center of attention for both Shusha's residents and visitors. It was a popular spot for relaxation, with the water originally filtered from the rock and later flowing through the metal pipe. The source remains accessible today. Prior to the occupation of Shusha, a restaurant was constructed above the spring. According to reports, the spring was named Saksi Spring by locals before it was put into a metal pipe. This was due to the water filtering through an ancient earthen pipe. The name has survived to this day. After the occupation of the city of Shusha, the area was neglected for many years and the restaurant building was abandoned. President Ilham Aliyev visited the Tursu Spring in the Shusha district. The Tursu Spring, a mineral water source within the forest, emerges at the altitude of 1700 meters on the bank of the Zarusli River, 17 kilometers southwest of the city of Shusha, not far from the Shusha Lachin Road. There are several water sources in the Shusha region. The spring near the Tursu settlement flows intermittently, approximately once every hour. The water from the spring is rich in useful trace elements, including carbon, hydrogen carbonate, magnesium, sodium and calcium.
These medicinal waters were used for both drinking and bathing in the sanatoriums of Shusha. President Ilham Aliyev paid a visit to the Tushsu settlement on the Shusha district. The settlement is situated approximately 17 kilometers from the city of Shusha along the Shusha Lachin Road. Tursu was the second most densely populated settlement of Azerbaijanis in the Shusha district before the occupation. The settlement was occupied on May 15, 1992. According to the 1989 census, the settlement was home to 755 people. Following anti-terrorist measures conducted by the Azerbaijani army in Karabakh on September 19, 2023, 20, the settlement was liberated from separatist control. Currently, 353 families comprising 1,403 people are registered in the Tursu settlement. President Ilham Aliyev made a trip to the village of Nakhchivanli in the Khojala district. The village of Nakhchivanli, nestled at the foot of the mountain, fell under the occupation of Armenian armed forces in 1992. The village was liberated from separates through anti-terrorism measures implemented by the Azerbaijani army in Karabakh on September 1920.
President Ilham Aliyev visited the village of Pir Jamal in the Khojala district. The head of state examined the territory of the village. Historical sources indicate that this settlement was established by families who migrated from ancient Beylagan. The village of Pir Jamal, nestled at the foot of the mountain, fell under the occupation of Armenian armed forces in 1992. The village was liberated from separatists through anti-terrorism measures implemented by the Azerbaijani army in Karabakh on September 1920. Head of our state made a trip to the village of Hanabad in the Hojala district. The village of Hanabad, situated at the foot of the mountain, fell under the occupation of Armenian armed forces in 1992. The village was liberated from the separatists through anti terrorism measures implemented by the Azerbaijani army in Karabakh on September 1920. Hanabat village is renowned for being one of the oldest settlements. In 1990, during the construction of the cooperative plant in the village, an ancient grave was discovered by the builders. During the inspection of that grave, alongside the human remains, ancient war and household items were discovered. After thorough analysis, it was determined that these items date back to the 11th-12th centuries BC. President Ilham Aliyev visited the village of Pirlar in the Khojal district. The head of state examined the territory of the village. The village of Pirlar, nestled at the foot of the mountain, fell under the occupation of Armenian armed forces in 1993. The village was liberated from separatists through anti-terrorism measures conducted by the Azerbaijani army in Karabakh on September 1920. This settlement has great potential in both agriculture and tourism.
President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, received congratulations on the occasion of his birthday. President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, President of the Republic of Serbia, Alexander Vucic, President of the Republic of Bulgaria, Ruman Radov, President of the Republic of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, President of Tajikistan, Emomali Rahmon, President of Kyrgyzstan, Sadr Japar, President of Turkmenistan, Serdar Bird Muhammadov, King of Jordan, Abdullah II, Ibn al Hussein, President of Croatia, Zoran Milanovic, President of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky, congratulated President Ilham Aliyev on this occasion and wished the head of our state robust health and happiness. An aircraft crossing the state boat of Azerbaijan without permission may be forcibly grounded, as stated in the draft law on aviation. The law, which was adopted in the third reading at the plenary meeting of the Milli Majlis, regulates the use of aerospace and activities in the field of aviation. The law also determines cases of cancellation of permits issued for air traffic. The law establishes state fees for services or legal actions related to civil and manned aerial vehicle systems. France, which is pursuing a policy of neo-colonialism in African countries, is also abusing Armenia. This was stated at the conference, Decolonization, Dialect, Legacy, Challenges and Progress, jointly organized by the youth organization, the Parliamentary Network of the Non-Aligned Movement and the Baku Initiative Group. During the first international conference, Colonization policies not only violate people's rights but also suppress the cultural heritage of various peoples. Despite Azerbaijan securing its sovereignty after the 44-day patriotic war, France persists in its anti-Azerbaijan activity through Armenia. In parallel, France is attempting to tighten its grip on East Africa under the guise of spreading civilization. However, this policy is viewed by panelists as a source of threat and danger to the world. And yet there are currently 17 months of government chairmanship over the the discussions highlighted the need to inform the younger generation about the current situation to prepare them for future efforts. The event also noted that France's political turmoil was accompanied by a rapid decline in its military power. For states still under French colonialism, this presents a rare historical opportunity to reclaim their rights. You can get in touch with us by contacting the EZTV hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for today. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.